Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms and much much more. So, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting video about DAX functions and today we're going to discuss a very important topic which is logical functions. And trust me, while doing any type of analysis on your data, logical functions are very essential and it becomes a backbone for many complex calculations that you do. Okay, so it's important for you to understand this particular function. So we're going to discuss today five basic logical functions today. And these are if, if error, and, or, and then switch. Now out of this five, we have already discussed switch in detail. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. You can check out the Excel switch function video that I made uh, a while back. Links will be in the description, which will explain the switch function to you. So the concepts are the same in both Excel Power Pivot and Power BI. So whatever applies there goes here as well. Okay. So now we're going to jump into our first function for logical functions, which is if. Now what if does is if checks a condition and returns one value when true, otherwise it returns a second value. Okay. So this is how it goes. So I'm going to create a new column here. Now the requirement here is if a particular pizza sales is above 100, then I want to mark that pizza sales as a top seller. Otherwise, I want to tag it as an average seller. Okay, so for that, I'm going to use this new column. And I'm going to say if sales column, right, which we wanted to use as a logical test is greater than 100, then the result should be top seller, else it should be an average seller. So as you see, I've given it three parameters. First one is obviously the logical test that we're doing, whether the pizza sales column is greater than 100 or not. So if this statement is true, we're going to use this string, which is top seller. And if it is not true, then we're going to use this string, which is average seller. So we have used these three parameters. And if we press enter, every sales item, which is greater than 100, it has automatically marked as top seller. Now let's look at second function that we will cover here is if error. Okay. So this will be helpful when you want to specifically identify if a particular value or a particular row has some kind of error in it or not, and then accordingly assign a certain value to it. So to do that, I'm going to insert a new column here and to create an error uh, manually here, uh, because I don't have any error in this data set. So I'm going to create a error manually. Uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll simply divide the sales value by zero. Okay. Which will give us an infinity or division error. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll create another column and we'll say if error column two, right? Which is the first parameter. So we want to, we have to define the value that we want to check. And if that value has any error, I want to mark it as let's say zero. Okay. As you see, it has marked all error values as zero and left that blank value because it did not have any errors in it. Now comes the third function, which is and now there are two ways to write an and function. You can write it like this and okay. Or you can write it like this ampersand sign twice. Okay. This, this signifies the same thing, but a major difference between both of them is when you write an AND function like this, you will only be able to give it two logical conditions here. Okay. Not more than two, but when you use an double ampersand sign, you can use as many con logical conditions as you want. Okay. So I'll show you examples of each. Okay. So the first requirement that we have is I want to simply check if we have pizza name as deluxe and second condition is category equal to non which so if both of these conditions are met because and means whatever logical conditions that you provide all conditions should be met then it will give you a true value okay so if both of them are true it will give me a true like this here but anywhere else it will give me a false similarly uh, i'm going to get back to the and condition again when we are using the ampersand sign but let's cover the or function first so or is similar to and again, when you write it like this, uh, you only have two options, two logical options, but another way to write or is a double pipe sign. 
and we're going to get to that in a while when you're using a normal or let's say the condition is you want to see if pizza name is equal to double cheese or category is equal to wedge in both these cases i want it to have a true value else false so as you see it has given me the correct values here uh, if it was a double cheese or if it was a wedge it has given me true values anywhere else it has given me false values now let's see an example of using and and or inside an if condition okay which is again very powerful so we are now mashing up two functions together right so what we do is if now the logical test is i'm going to say and price usd is greater than 10 and column value which we created earlier is equal to top seller bracket close then if both of these conditions are met because we are using and it would simply imply that both these conditions should be met if both of them are met and it is true then in that case i want it to mark it as star else i want to mark it as budget and close the bracket and press enter so as you see now uh, it has checked all the rows all the conditions and uh, accordingly applied the values that i've given it okay now let's see an example where instead of using an and we can use a double ampersand sign okay and you will observe that using a double ampersand is much more readable when you look at a formula condition goes like this if pizza sales is greater than and this time i'm going to use equal to 10 and column value is equal to top seller then okay i'm going to remove this bracket because i don't want this so i'm going to check if both these conditions are true then assign it a star else uh, mark it as budget so if you see it has applied that now the good thing about ampersand sign is i can always add another condition here which was not possible while using the normal and function so i'm gonna add a third condition which says and pizza sales unsold column is less than 10. so if you see it has accommodated that third criteria as well similarly like ampersand sign we can use the or function using the pipe sign here because we're using or it will see if any one of the condition is true then it will mark it as a star else it will mark it as a budget so with this <laughs> i think all of them are stars right so again uh, depending on the condition you can choose to have uh, if or condition if and condition and then also club if and and or together uh, by separating them out with brackets so like for example i can do it like this is equal to top seller and pizza sales unsold is less than 10 okay i can do it like this as well cool right so that is it for today i think uh, we have covered what is normally used within logical functions but there are many other functions which you can explore i'll place a link in the description below so that you can check out all the functions within logical functions that are available and you can just try it out and as i said i have created another video which covers the switch function in detail switch is very useful when it comes to applying multiple conditions together so right now we've only applied one if condition but what if you want to apply multiple if conditions within a single statement single formula which is called a nested if uh, in those scenarios switch becomes very helpful do check that out as well okay so that is it Thank you so much for watching and if you're liking my content then please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.